that's not happening. Uh, well, I wonder where they're going to go. Uh, DK, DK rap, OP? <laughs> not this DK rap. All right, they they done it dirty. All right, Sakurai did my man DK dirty twice. Not not only with the DK rap, but not giving him the DK64 voices. Like where he says, like, yeah, and all that. They made him give him gr real gorilla noises. I ain't about that. He all used right? to speak words? In DK64. He says, like, yeah, when he gets like, on the banana and what? all that. Dude, and he goes, like, okay. And I, stuff. Don't wanna, I don't want to hear that. Dude, I, wish, dude. I wish you never told me that. Dude, you're missing oh out. Oh, my God. DK thinks you were one of the dude, greatest collective bots out there. That is creepy. Okay. That is. Dude, our, our, if Donkey Kong ever starts talking, I'm just like. Yo, 20 seconds. I'm, I'm, out, I'm yo, out. But the DK rap in the N64 version is way better than the it's Melee it all. one. All right. So. All right, we're going in. We got oh, we got Neko. Oh, so we have Neko Katsu. Uh, you've seen him on MSN a few times. Uh, Game and Watch, and we have another um, Zero Suit Samus with one of the better costumes from actual Zero Suit Samus the game. I mean Zero Zero Mission. Excuse me. We've seen Nico in action over the past while. One of the most impressive Game and Watch players. You can find on YouTube videos for sure. Mm -hmm. We're gonna put on another clinic. Nice dash attack. Bring him to the cookout. PL gets over that, though. A lot of game watches in SoCal. Uh, him, Paper, and uh, I feel like I'm missing another one, but there's a few in the 818 area. So, but, uh, I wonder how this matchup's going to play out, because Zero Suit Samus has kill potential. However, Game Watch has enough, uh, I don't want to say aerial speed, but enough uh, enough attacks to kind of really keep her, like, honest, keep her in contention, you know what I mean? Not let her rush down as, uh, as free as she wants to. I'm curious to see how PL's going to deal with uh, the options that Nico has in neutral. Particularly the neutral air, mm -hmm. the the turtle crab, whatever the heck that thing is supposed to be. Yeah. In, in addition, I I also want to oh. see a nice. He, he he delays his recovery just a bit just to avoid that. Nice there. Unfortunately, the there doesn't have enough knockback and he gets hit by fair. Splude. Ooh. Okay. I, I feel like he's hit him with fair too much. But I want to see how the uh, how PL is going to deal with Neko up being uh in the middle of the stage constantly. Like he might. See, I was going to say he's about to up B right there. There's a lot of game watches. They like to do it because it's super safe. However, you can start baiting it out. Okay, yeah, that back here's gonna But if you can start baiting it out or maybe find a pattern, maybe PL is able to follow up in the air, up air, up B. Who, who knows? Who knows? The task for PL right now is to really decrypt the last 15 seconds to understand how that kind of pressure was put on, how he ended up losing that stock, and how to avoid being in that position. And that's exactly what Nico Katz was looking to do time and time again. Get PL off the stage, set things up at the back here, use the bombs also, get the neutral priority, and keep that pressure. Yeah, but if you see him down B, get the iframes, and go through the key, all right, that's right, that's right. He knew, he knew. He's like, yo, hold up, watch, watch my lab. Uh, unfortunately, He's feeding that bucket, and he still hasn't got his kill here. Game of Watch technically had a higher percent. Okay, good, good. He's the third lightest character now, uh, uh, in front of uh, Pichu, in front of Pichu and Jiggly. Those are the only two lighter than him. Yeah. So that's one of those instances where Nico just nods. He's like, yeah, the, the shelf life of that stock was. Yeah, uh, it's like it was way past <laughs> over. over. Like if you if you see a Game of Watch at 160, you know there's something wrong. All right, 123, it's like all right, that, that's the most you're gonna get. Nice up tilt there. Uh, up tilt frame two and actually has iframes on it. So uh, I like the anti-air option. Oh, wow. I, 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 it was like a mix-up. Down B? Oh. Nico was hanging out down there. Hair longer than I would have figured. I, I think he mixed up where he was when uh, from the exchange of last one. Oh, that might kill. This high up. Yeah. That light, 94%. Nice catch. BL really, BL. really adjusting after that first stock. Like, he kind of was just getting hit by every fair, every aerial, and now he's like, you know what? I I, I know Game Watch's weaknesses. I know what they're looking for. So he's, he's, he's making space. Ooh. Flex Gumby right now. There's the back air. Again, it's going to connect. Really been a workhorse this, this game so far for Niku Katsu. Mm -hmm. Has to worry about that staling in some instances, though. Up air just misses. Oh, and that's oh. it. That's it. That's it. Any. Yeah. Well. Okay. Life comes at you fast, man. Yeah, man. You know, I, okay, that obviously the only reason why he actually was alive for a bit was because they were on the top platform of Smashville. If that was on base ground, he was instantly dead, instantaneously dead. That was that was dope. I mean, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure he kind of went for it to go for it because, you know, when you're around that 40 to 54%, you want a forward throw or you want a back throw with your Samus to do it. However, hey, man, it worked. He, he threw it out there and he uh, hit a home run. That's how Zero Suit do. All right, we're going into game dose. I did not catch the counter. Oh, we're just running the back. He's like, you know what? That was baloney. Bring it back. I mean, oh, arguably, if you're in Nikukatsu, you're like that second stock. All right, you got me at the top. Okay. 
That third stock, he's you're like, not spiking me like that again. Yeah, he's So like, I can definitely understand the reason of like, I like the overall situation I was able to establish in the beginning of game number one. Mm -hmm. I feel confident that I can recreate that magic for myself. Let's go back to that stage. All right, so we're going back right now. PL's, PL's still hot, you know what I mean? He, he's catching all his anti airs. He's like, he's playing his game. Nair, no follow up. See, I, the iframes on uh, the frame two up tilt, able to punish right away. Um, yeah, I was gonna say, just PL's, he, 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 I think he knows what Neku's looking for, and he's pretending to give it to him. Up air trade, Ooh. GameStop trade, man. That was a GameStop trade. I feel like Nikukatsu's used to being able to hang out up there or at the bottom of the screen and using this up B. Not too many characters can bring that kind of kill pressure that fast off screen. Mm -hmm. Get that up B like Zero Samus can't. Zero Suit Samus can't. Nikukatsu has to respect it. Yeah, in addition, Zero Suit Samus is going up there, okay? Like, compared to, like, uh -oh. let's just say, like, <laughs> I, I was hoping he wouldn't go into that. that one up for a minute. But the one thing that PL's doing super well is, remember I'm saying anti-airing? He's also anti-airing <laughs> above the stage, okay? Which is what Game & Watches don't expect. When they up B, they're like, okay, I'm safe. I'm going to have time to recover. Maybe I'll come down and attack. Zero Suit Samus is like, dude, I want you up there. So, thanks for doing half the work for me, you know? Nice chair. I feel like that's one of the cheeky things that Game & Watch brings to the table. You feel like... You can just automatically assume the enemy is going to have to play your game. And sometimes your own game ends up playing you. Uh, he took the stack pretty quick. He had no real damage has gone on. Like, what, about 20 seconds? All right, here we go. Little start, little start, something? Michael Jackson? Go, 78. All right. It was almost the start of something. Forward throw? Yeah. Nothing, no follow-up from there. Like, yeah, there was literally no follow-up you could do. All that did. That was a full charge. That was a full charge. Every play. day of the week. It was right now, PL one stock away from moving further in winter side. Nico. Dude, he went for the L Desperado. He went for the L Desperado. Bring him up. Yeah, right? He's like, yo, give me that nine. And the game's like, you get it too. <laughs> but uh, a bad luck. The reason why that exchange happened it was he was just trying to fare Zuzu Samus, who was charging her uh, neutral special. And he literally just caught the full charge later. There's nothing else to explain beyond that. 69, magic percent. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, dude, that was a 69 because he got they got a glancing blow, and I was like, 69 power of it, man. Makes, makes attacks miss, makes you kill earlier. I got one of those up smashes. Nico's been fishing for that pretty much all game two. Charges it up again, just yep. waiting for that burial spike attack. I like the I like the idea of it, but when you do it that close to the stage, you kind of put yourself <gasps> caught him with in a, a back air. Spot. That's it, oh! dude. He caught him with a back air. Oh my god. So he okay. okay. Solid play. Dude, he tethered grabbed towards stage, okay, jumped, got back air, and literally, like, it was so unexpected. Like, I literally was like, what? I, I had to think about it for a second. It was that, was, that was sick. Low key, that was sick.